Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Wednesday, the 8th day of September, 2021. Our topic today on the Seeds of Destiny is Love, a key to effective and acceptable service. The Bible says, And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. Deuteronomy 10, 12. Thought for the day. When people are in love with God, you don't beg them to do things for the cause of God. Kingdom service is key to greatness in life. Key to greatness in the kingdom of God. God only anoints servants. Psalm 89 verse 20. So if greatness is your destination, service must be your responsibility. By the mercies of God, my husband and I have built churches by, the, by deploying our personal resources. And we are still trusting God that many of such buildings will be built in this year with our personal resources. This is because apart from serving God with our capabilities and our abilities, we also serve Him with our resources. Let me give you a key for an acceptable and profitable service that must be done heartily and lovingly is the service of the Lord must be done with the whole of your heart and out of love. Service to God should be done on the basis of love for God with all your heart and all your soul. This means the deeper your love for God, the stronger your service. When people are in love with God, you don't beg them to do things for the cause of God. Many years ago, while growing up, as a young Christian, my husband, God's servant, was so passionate in the service of God, he was involved directly and indirectly in different departments in the church. He was in the choir, he prayed with the prayer band on occasions, he did the work of ushers, he did evangelism, and so on and so forth. He almost wanted to divide himself for God because he loved God so much. So service must be done with love for God. Make up your mind to love God deeply and you will not struggle to serve Him. Remember this, when people are in love with God, you don't beg them to do things for the cause of God. Praise God. What's our assignment? Number one, make up your mind to serve God lovingly and passionately. Secondly, avoid bitterness in the service of God. Let your service of God be love motivated. Praise God. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I receive a fresh baptism of love for you. I receive the grace to serve you passionately. Oh God, in Jesus' name, amen. I'm excited and I know that as you pray this prayer, God will hear and answer you in Jesus' name. Now, in the reflection that God's servant wrote today, he said, what is done for God is not as important as the spirit with which they are done. People celebrate actions, but God examines intentions and motivation. Praise the Lord. I pray that the Lord will help you to be um, motivated to do for God out of love in Jesus' name. Praise God. Now, before I close, I'd like to pray two prayers. First of all, for those who want to be born again, you want Jesus to be the Lord of your life, simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I'll live to please you, O Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. And I wish you a very happy birthday today. It's your birthday and we thank God for how he has helped you. He has delivered you from so much and he has given you so much of his help. I pray that his help will be made even more available to you in the years ahead. Happy birthday. Happy anniversary. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.
peace.